Hey everyone, today we're gonna talk about the follow-up, which is one of my most favorite and I think it's so important as a coach to really get used to and they hang of right off the bat because it could totally change everything for your business. So the follow-up might sound a little scary and you know if someone said no to your to you in the past about joining a boot camp, then you might be a little nervous to reach back out. But it is so important that you do. You never want anyone to think that you had forgotten about them or you just moved on to the next person you were to trying to sell to. You wanna make sure that they know that they're still important to you and that you still wanna help them reach their goal. So always follow up with everyone. Like I said in a previous video, whenever anyone says no to me, I think of it as the perfect opportunity for me to put them on my follow-up list and check in with them next month or even next week. So a quick tip, if someone says, hey, I'm really interested, but I can't right now, um, I actually get paid on Friday, does that work? Never just leave and say, hey, yes, that's great, talk to you Friday. I always say, uh, as a follow-up, I say, hey, that's great, can I check in with you at Friday on Friday around noon? They'll say, please do, I'm so excited. So give them a time and an exact day that you will check in with them so that they're expecting you. Not so that, so you won't feel so afraid anymore, but rather they're expecting you and so you're gonna feel confident and you're gonna feel like, you know, not as afraid. Also, follow up. A quick follow up could be something along the lines of, hey girl, I just didn't want you to think I had forgotten about you. I'm running another boot camp in March and I would love to have you. I know we talked about 80 day obsession and you were super interested. Are you still in? So one, I ended that conversation with a question. Are you still in? Making it seem like they had committed before and they'll remember that. And you also need to remind them of how excited they were before. So it can be a little discouraging when people think that, you know, you're just trying to get a sale out of them. But when you remember the conversation or you remember talking with them or something specific that you talked about, bring it up because they, you're going to show them that you're not just going to the first sale, but you actually care about them as a person. So make sure to always kind of bring something back from a prior conversation. So never just send the same thing to everyone. Go through your conversation and find out something you talked about. It could be, hey girl, I know last month you were crazy busy with the wedding, but this month I'm running another group is now a better time question. So that's an easy follow-up. Don't overthink it. Don't send them this long paragraph of, hey girl, <laughs> I'm so excited because we have this new program coming out. It's $160 and I know you're really busy with your mom and I hope she's doing better. Is she better? Like do not do that because no one likes word vomit. I don't know about you, but when I get a long message in my inbox, a lot of times that's the last thing that I read. But if it's quick and to the point, I'll read it right away and I'll respond right away. So make sure your follow-ups are pretty easy and to the point. Always let people know that you have something to offer. So even if you check in with them every month, say, if they say now's not a good time, great. Can I check in with you in April? next month, they'll say, sure, that sounds good. That's a better time for me. Give them a time where you will check back in with them so that's not just a surprise to them. And then also make sure you're very organized with this and you have a list of follow-ups. So like I said, when people say no to me, I'll just put them on a follow-up list. And to me, that is so, I get so excited about this because it's just, say like, January, I hit Success Club. Well, now I have this list of people I get to follow up with and I already have pretty much Success Club set up for February. Never underestimate a follow up. Never forget about someone. That's the way I look, up, look at follow ups is if I don't follow up with them, they're gonna think that I have forgotten about them. So by you saying, hey, I haven't forgotten about you, that makes them feel special. A lot of the times I will start each month with follow-ups. So before I reach out to new people, I will go to the people on my follow-up list to let them know that I'm reaching out to them first and offering them a spot in my bootcamp before anyone else. Makes it feel exclusive, like they're important and that you are really thinking about them. And you have to remember, people are afraid to reach out. You're afraid to reach out to them and maybe you're afraid to follow up with them, but they're probably just as afraid as you. And sometimes maybe they need that little push to be reminded that they had that goal in mind. Never forget about following up and let people know that you're thinking of them and that you always have a boot camp to offer and that you will do these monthly.